Welcome back to The Forge for another Rusty production. Today, we are going to try and make a unicorn. So before we get started, I have to show you this. So a massive storm has just come through and flooded underneath uh, the workshop here. So I've tried to remove as much water as possible. We've still got probably about half or a quarter of an inch of water along the bottom of the, <laughs> the workshop, but it uh, gets a bit of high ground up here. Just gonna live with that. I've been able to remove enough so that I don't get my feet wet, but um, yeah, not ideal. So I'm not working in the most ideal conditions today, but it is what it is. I'm gonna continue working no matter what. And today, we're actually running out of time because uh, what I've done <laughs> is promised my daughter that for her birthday, uh, that's her fifth birthday, I'm going to be making her a unicorn. Now, it's a unicorn with a twist. So I thought a unicorn is a horse with a horn coming out of its head, but apparently not. So the work I've been doing up to today has gone to waste. So I've been practicing making things like horses. So if you can see that, it's not great, but ideally that's a horse's head. Because um, I had this idea of creating a, uh, a sort of, not realistic unicorn, but a sort of a stylized unicorn that looks like a horse with the, you know, the head thing. When I showed that to my daughter, she said that's not it at all. So apparently this is what I'm making. So that is an alicorn. And an alicorn is a My Little Pony unicorn with wings. Uh, so that's, <laughs> that's what I'm going to be trying to make today, is an alicorn or a My Little Pony unicorn. So uh, wish me the best of luck. Uh, I'm going to draw this one out because uh, it's, I've been trying to wrap my brains about how I'm going to do this. Um, so I'll show you what I'm intending and we'll see how we go. All right, so ideally you saw in the picture just before, it's going to be something that's along the lines of this sort of shape. Um, the, I'll draw the horn in just a moment. But ideally it comes around like this, comes down like that. Uh, I think that'll have to change a little bit. There's the back of it. There's a leg. There's another leg. The tail of some sort. Um, a unicorn horn coming over there. Which I think I'm going to try and add a twist to. I'll punch a hole for the eye. And then we might even try and do some sort of mane. But it'll be something along this, this line. And just so you're aware, it's not just an alicorn or a unicorn. It's got to have glittery feet. So <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, somehow add some sort of sparkly nail polish to the foot of this thing. Now, I want it to sort of stand up on its own. So it means that I can't just have this 2D shape. Uh, what I really need to do is give it four legs, something along the lines of this, um, and so which means I've got to give it a bit of um, bit of mass. Uh, so how am I going to do this? That is the question. Uh, I'll show you what I've got to work with. Actually, before I go on, don't forget I've got to add these wings. So that's a whole nother level of something that I've got to add. Uh, and I'm thinking that at the end of the day, I'm going to try and do all this as one piece. But these wings, I think I'm going to weld those on. So I'll tack weld those on uh, after I've made them separately. So again, <laughs> wish me the best of luck on this one. So to make this, I've got this solid piece of steel. Now, obviously, I don't need this entire length. What I'm going to do is actually get an angle grinder and cut a piece off about that sort of size. So it's not going to be massive. Uh, and you can see that it's not that thick. So uh, I'll... I'm gonna cut through there with the angle grinder, then I'll have basically a rectangle shape to start with. Then let me just come back to the paper and I'll show you what I'm gonna try and uh, start with there. Okay, so now you've got the rough block. Now I've gotta create some, um, some of these cuts. So I think what I'll do is I will come into about there on that one. Come into about there on, maybe a little bit further, maybe there on that one. Uh, we'll cut in here for the start of our legs. Something like that. Sorry, I keep moving the thing over. Um, and then we've got to bring this in here. I'll, I'll probably just whack that with the, um, 
edge of the, the anvil when I get to that piece. Uh, but then I want to try and come in and bring this horn in. So I'm going to try and cut into that as well. So it gives us a start at least, then this will all fold back up. So this is the idea. Let's give it a go. Okay, so here we are. Uh, that pretty much matches the intention I had in the drawing. Um, these could probably come up a little bit further, but I'm gonna try and do that with the, um, with the hammers and, uh, and by you know, moving some material around. Uh, there is where we're going to put our uh, unicorn horn in and I'm going to try and um, uh, knock in the corner there to create ears on the top and ideally that'll bring that up a little bit and then I'll be able to start working that a bit more too. So the trick is I guess what tongs I'm gonna to be using to do this, but uh, look, this is all trial and error. I am absolutely no expert in this space as any of you uh, have seen the other videos would know. Um, so I'm just going to work it and uh, see what we can get out. So I've got till um, uh, the second week in July to get this complete. So if this one doesn't work, we might be able to have another go, but um, I'm still gonna give it my best shot. there. <laughs> I've got to give them more shape but um, I just wanted to open them up to give me an uh, opportunity to work on them. Got to be careful I don't make too much of a mess around this area here with the actual vise. But I've got further into that. Uh, you can see there. Uh, might just use the um, the hardy tool just to split it out slightly further, and then uh, we'll just get in and clean up this horn. Right, there's the ears. Might get a file in there just to clean that up a little bit, but um, in essence, that's what I'm after. And then we'll clean up the feet here, and then uh, we'll be just about ready to bring it to uh, to the grinder.
these wings don't need to be big, they're only about two inches tall, probably something along the lines of that. Uh, but they do need to be a little bit fancy. So, um, kind of looking at something that looks a little bit like this. And then we need a spot for these to weld on. So we need two of them. Um, if that doesn't look that fancy. <laughs> but basically they'll come out, they'll have like four points to the wings and then um, they'll shape down and, and come out. And then we want them to arch a little bit as well, but we can, we can do that maybe even after they've been welded on. So um, I've got to get a little piece of metal and start doing this. Let's get the uh, forge heated up and get started. <laughs> so I'm just going to be working with a bit of this um, five mil stock uh for the wings so all we should have to do is just basically um you can see there's the there's the image again we'll we'll draw this out a little bit and then we'll uh we'll use a chisel and and, and cut into it so we can start to create those tapers in the wing tips uh and i think that's all we should need because it's not a we're not large working with something that's going to be quite large uh, only need to be two inches tall Happy with that? I don't know if you can see it from that angle. But in essence, that's our wing that's going to go on the side of our horse. <laughs> So I've taken it to the grinder and you can see I've removed a whole bunch of material from the um, from the front and from the top and sides etc just to sort of give it a little bit more of the correct shape so it's actually on the right path I'm, I'm, I'm sort of happy with the way it's going it's not exactly like the drawing I think you can kind of see what's left of this drawing there um, but it is on the right path it should be sort of taller but I'm concerned about bringing these feet out anymore because um, they've already got small cracks coming through them so one of the other things I've done is I've taken the file to the um, to the tail and you can see I've just sort of started to create sort of indents that are gonna be that uh, sort of a tail structure and I'll probably do the same thing behind the head as well to do the main. But next, uh, I've gotta get the, the forge heated back up um, so I can punch an eye through the center there. Uh, and then the other thing I've gotta do is make the other wing, which is this one here. And then I'm going to weld not forge weld i'm actually just going to use my welder to weld the wing onto there like so and then once they're on there i'll heat it back up and i'll start bending the wings out once the two of them are on and uh to to give it some shape and some form and i might even do that with the head too if i can you know turn the head a little bit so it's like looking off to the side something like that just to give it a little bit more character but um first things first heating up the forge punching the eye
through the hole through there. Now we're just going to clean that up a little bit. Um, I'll do that with a file. Alright, so I've got my wings. Um, I've given them a bit of a grind just to, to smooth things out and clean them up a little bit. They're still pretty messy, uh, but they don't look too bad. So what I've done is I've just scored them on the backs. This is the side that's actually going to be welded to uh, the alley corn. <laughs> um, but what I'm gonna do before I go and weld them on is I'm just gonna bend out the shape of the wing a little bit. So because I've scored it, I know which way it's gotta go. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is give it a little bit of a, um, uh, basically heat it up, put it into the uh, um, concave part of a bit of a wood, give it a bit of a whack and just give it a little bit of that shape which should flare out the, um, so I guess the, um, the tips of the wings a little bit and also just give it that sort of arch that I'm looking for that'll come off the unicorn slash alicorn thingy above. So uh, I'm just gonna heat them up, give them a quick whack and then uh, hopefully we'll be ready to weld. It's actually not too bad a job. Um, obviously it's it's messy and it's a bit all over the place, but I can grind some of that back. So it is it is on there, which is kind of the point. I'm just gonna uh, weld a couple more spots just around the front there. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. So I've ground the alicorn back. Uh, you can see all the little shiny parts where I've been using the grinder just to smooth it off, uh, get rid of any of the gunk from the, um, from the welding. And uh, I've used files, I've used the grinder, I've used sandpaper basically to get it back to sort of a fairly clean finish. It's not, you know, it's not great. Uh, I am a novice at this sort of stuff. It's, it's all beginner work, but um, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Now, finally, what I'm gonna do is put it on the forge, get it up to sort of an orange heat uh, brush it off and then as it does start to drop its heat I'll just keep brushing it to try and burnish it just give it a nice finish and uh, as it does get to the black heat that's when I'll, uh, I'll use a bit of linseed oil to um, and, and a cloth just to sort of paint that off you should see some um, uh, smoke come up which shows that it's working which is science uh, and then after I finish doing that I'll actually get it in the oven upstairs and, and cook it for a couple of hours so um, we're nearly there, we're just about finished uh, on the home straight and um, let's get this forge going and get it finished. Sort of heating this up and uh, cleaning it up in sections. Just got to uh, basically just blackening it again. Um, and I've just, just got to be careful about these wings because I don't want to burn them. I'll let that head cool down a little bit while I'm burnishing it. And then I'll, uh, I'll heat up the back and then the wings. Start the process, get that smoke coming off there. That means it's working. Now I'm just gonna put, a, this is just the first layer on here because I'm gonna actually do this in the oven as well. Um, so it's just to get it started, make sure no rust forms on it. Not that it would in the short period of time, I'm probably going to do this, so... Nice to get it baked on, though.
So that's probably the very first Forge Alicorn pedicure that you've ever seen, complete with top coat over the top of this sparkly nail polish. Um, but Little Miss number five is very, very happy with the result. I got a 10 out of 10 for hitting her brief. Um, and she was very happy on her birthday. The birthday has been and gone now, and um, she did get it on time, which was very, very crucial. So um, I hope you've liked this uh, little journey of me getting this piece completed. Uh, it obviously took a hell of a long time to learn how to move this metal, because I don't really know what I'm doing, and there's probably about 16 hours worth of work in that piece alone. Uh, if you've got any comments on things that I could be doing differently, better, things that you liked, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you did like the video, give me a like. And if you haven't, uh, hit the notification bell to receive uh, subscription notifications for upcoming videos, please do that. Uh, until next time, thanks so much for watching.